Hi gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In today's episode, we're going to continue with our film damage series. Today's episode, we're going to cover print dust. That's dust that happens on an actual film print, as opposed to uh, dust that happens on a negative, which is actually covered in another tutorial. Now, print dust shows up on screen in a movie theater as dark specks. This can happen in a couple different places. The dust can actually get into the print bath when a print is being struck from a negative at uh, a photochemical house, which is rapidly going away since everything's going completely digital. But uh, sometimes in that, in that process, when it's printed over to a positive so it can be taken to a movie theater and projected on the big screen, dust will actually get in the bath and stick to the print. That's one place it can happen. Another place that it happens frequently and pretty uncontrollably is at the actual theater. And when the film strip is run through the projector to for a showing of the of the movie, dust will actually get in there, as you can imagine. And through you know you have three and four screenings a day with every time it goes through the gate and through the projector and is wound back up on the platters, dust can accumulate. So. We're going to create that effect here in After Effects. Uh, bring in your uh, footage, import your footage, whatever footage you'd like to apply this effect to. We're going to stick with our Santa Monica footage that we've been using and uh, create a new comp simply by just dragging your footage into the timeline. We're going to apply this effect to an adjustment layer. So once you're down here into the timeline, right mouse click, go to New, Adjustment Layer, hit Return. We want to label it, so Dust. And this one's going to be called print, print dust. And now it's important to label things as we go because at the end we're going to collect all of these different effects and create one giant film damage, uh, a look or effect. So, and if you want to go back and tweak uh, and change things, the better things are labeled, the easier it will be to find stuff. So, all right. So, right mouse click on that, on that adjustment layer. Go to effect. Go to our old friend turbulent noise. Okay, that pops up in your effects control here. Uh, fractal type, we want to leave it basic. Noise type, soft linear. Contra uh, actually, we want to click on the invert here. And contrast, we want to go to 475. And brightness, we want to go to 100. So this will actually cre create like little dark black specks against a white background. Now, in this one, we're going to, we're going to change the scale ever so slightly. So go into transform here scale and we want to make that 75 so those specs become just a little bit smaller and let's see what else we've got okay so we want those specs to be new specs with every single frame of footage and so we're going to go to evolution options random seed now we're going to apply an expression here an expression is just a little piece of code that tells the software to do something throughout the comp this way you don't have to keyframe everything it'll just do it automatically for you so if you're on a Mac, hold down your option key, click the little time, uh, the little stopwatch here, and then it will become active down here, and you can write your little expression here. Now we're gonna use the one we've been using, time times, which is the asterisk, 24. Now again, if you're working on footage that is at, running at 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second, this will, you'll want this number to reflect whatever frame rate you have. In this case, my footage that I brought in was 24 frames a second. It's actually 23,976, which is actually drop frame, and I can explain that later. Or if you're interested and want to know more about that, uh, hit me up in the comments, and I'll see if I can explain that. Uh, but for the sake of uh, for our experiment here, we're just going to leave it at 24 just to make things simple, keep it a round number. So, all right, so we've got that. Now, if we play that back with the RAM preview, which is zero on your number pad, or you can also do it up here in RAM preview, just click here in your preview window, we should have unique frames for every single frame of dust. So there you go, and that sound is actually the audio from the clip. We'll turn it off. And now the last thing we wanna do is we wanna actually apply that look to our our actual video. So blending mode, last step, blending mode, multiply, and boom, it lands right there. And then if you play that back, you will see all kinds of dust. Now that's that's a lot of dust. So if we wanted to tweak that, make that a little less obnoxious, a little less obvious, you would play around with these numbers here. So let's see if I recall, you actually wanna go, uh, I believe it's contrast, so if we lower our contrast and also our brightness, go up with the brightness, 
that'll make that'll give us fewer specs. So you'll play around with the contrast and brightness just to uh, you know find just the right balance. That might still be a little a little too much, but uh, generally you get the idea. So if you want to um, create more or less there, and then again if you want to actually change the scale, if that dust looks too big to you for your project, you would change the scale or the size of it using the scale feature here in transform. So, uh, you know, you take that down to 50 to make them a little smaller, right? hypothetically anyway, or you'd crank it up and they'd get much larger. There you go, now you can see that. So, but uh, for this piece of footage, we went with 75. So that's it, pretty straightforward. That's how to create the effect of print dust on your footage. So if you liked this and it was helpful, subscribe to our channel and we'll keep bringing more tutorials to you. And thanks for watching.